Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, okay, why do I always like look at myself in the camera and then see like the creepy like opportunity that could arise in this frame? Like, what if the door started opening? <laughs> that would be so freaky. I've been watching like way too much paranormal investigating YouTube. Anyway, I am going to make up a vest. I am still traveling and I did bring some things with me with the intention of knitting. I did bring some yarn with me to knit into something and I definitely brought way too much yarn. I had a project in mind for this yarn and I have about three day, three-ish days left here and I'm gonna try to just see if I can do it because if I don't then I will have brought this yarn for nothing and I kind of had a feeling that I was gonna bring this yarn for nothing but I had to bring more yarn than I was gonna need just in case, you know? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna make a vest. I kind of want to make like a grandpa cardigan vest, <laughs> like, like kind of like, like a cardigan with no sleeves, kind of like I'm thinking like 80s nerd is what I think of when I see those vests and I have seen people make them recently like I feel like it's becoming kind of the next vest trend less of a pullover more of like kind of nerdy cardigan style and I like the idea of a cardigan vest so let's just try it and this is going to be like a freehand knitting video so it's kind of like a let's just make a vest <laughs> let's see if we can do it um, I'll give you my tips and tricks. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty simple to make a vest, but we'll see. I might mess it up because I feel like I mess up literally every knitting project I do. At least a little bit. So this is just like me freehand knitting essentially. So what I have is I have a tape measure, which I think is usually helpful when freehand knitting. Unless you've like done this before and you kind of have <laughs> look at this. Look at this kitty. <laughs> And then the yarn that I have, this is actually like, I should have mentioned this in my last Fuzzy Wuzzy Knitting podcast, but I totally forgot about it. I had got this yarn at the same time as like all that other sock yarn, or all that sock yarn, because this is not sock yarn. This was from like, oh my gosh. This was like on sale at the yarn store that I went to, and it was on sale because it was like, because it was from the previous owner's stash and they were trying to get rid of it. So it like maybe some of it was used uh, It's fine. <laughs> doesn't matter to me. This is vintage Noro yarn. It's like It's kind of like a gray base with like a rainbow primary colors Running through it. So this is what I want to use. I Have approximately this much So I, I have no idea how much this is like I don't even know how much yardage there is because none of these had labels i have like full two full cakes and then just like some medium-sized balls <laughs> so and that's kind of why i wanted to make this into a vest because i'm not actually sure how much i have and i don't know if i'll have enough to make like a full sweater if i do we can always add sleeves to the vest maybe after summer's over because it's kind of warm also i don't know the content of that i think like noro is usually like silk and wool and acrylic but I don't know what that is. I have needles in this envelope. I just brought this because I didn't know what needles I was gonna want. And this has like my, this is like my set of Audi needles. I actually don't, I really like Audi needles. They're like my favorite circular needles to use, but the clicks, which are these, they're like just the, the points that have the interchangeable wires. They like always come detached at the worst time. Like when I was knitting my mood sweater, they would like, the wires would come off like while I was knitting the sleeves and then all my stitches would just be loose and it was like, it was not helpful. I ended up using like my needles that had a 40 inch wire because I just like didn't want to deal with having to put the needles back on this and like reconnect it every like five rows when I had to do like, I don't know, a hundred rows on that sleeve. Anyway, so I brought this with me because it has all these needle sizes to choose from in a handy dandy envelope. And the biggest ones in here are size US 11, which is eight millimeter. So I'm probably gonna use these, or I definitely am gonna use these because these are the biggest. So I'm just gonna take them out right now. 11, 
and then I might use a smaller size for ribs and stuff but I might also not do a rib around the armholes because sometimes I don't like how it kind of like gets smaller but I'll definitely do a rib oh wait we're doing a cardigan <laughs> yeah I'll probably do a rib around the neckline <laughs> like the button band and then it'll have a rib at the bottom but I don't know yeah I guess I'll do a rib I'll just do it in like the next size down which is 10 easy peasy that's still pretty big 10 10 and 11 whoa they look like crazy different even okay whatever eight millimeter and six millimeter oh yeah and then i have some buttons i brought buttons too i got these buttons at the consignment yarn store in alameda it's called the recrafting co since soon as you'll ask me about bay area yarn shops so that's a consignment yarn store and everything's like half-ish off and the lady there is super nice and they have pretty good stuff i've found a lot of like wool there i found like loopy mango there and knit collage and all the yarn that was from my stripe overload polo was from that store and then i got these buttons there a while ago they're they're like little they're like little weird cats so those can be on my vest if we can make a vest in a day so yeah that's my plan how i'm going to start this is i'm going to i want it to be a little bit loose fitting i'm going to take my tape measure and i'm going to give myself approximately how much i would want how much ease i would want so that seems like a lot so i'm just taking a measurement of like the circumference that i would want for this vest to fit that sentence makes sense and I gave myself quite a bit of ease because I like my clothes a little bit loose fitting and so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna try to do 32 inches for the circumference of the bottom of the vest and that doesn't that won't include the button band so the button band is gonna add probably like an inch or two which is fine because I kind of like things loose like I just said so 32 inches um, is what I want about 32 inches like this is a rough estimate because it's just freehand knitting for fun and, and this isn't really a tutorial either it's just like this is what I do and maybe you can do it too I want 32 inches worth of rib essentially to start with and usually my cast on grows about two inches so I'm gonna cast on 30 inches worth of stitches I think I'm gonna do two by two rib so I'm gonna cast on long tail cast on two by two rib 30 inches worth of cast on which is for sure gonna grow at least two inches maybe more maybe less I, I, whatever i'll let you know how much it ends up growing but that's where i'm gonna start and then i think i'm gonna do like a decent size rib but not too big probably just like two inches or so so that's how i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with a rib and then i'm gonna move into my body i'm gonna separate it for my arm openings and then i'll work the back and the two fronts separately essentially i'm gonna do my rib and then i'll be back to show you it's been a few hours unfortunately it should not have taken a few hours to do a few rows i did approximately this much in about like two hours literally this is like five rows <laughs> and you want to know why it took so long because i got into an argument with my grandmother and what did we get into an argument about literally baking cookies she was like why aren't you baking me cookies right now and i was like because i'm sitting here knitting one thing led to another and I ended up baking her cookies for two hours. Also, I'm pretty sure she got her oven mitts from the dollar store because I burned the f out of my hand taking them out of the oven. So I feel I feel better now, but there was a little bit of tension in that moment. Anyway, I ended up casting on about 70 stitches. So this is my cast on and my stitches dude my hand hurts i like i, I like what uh, like you should, it, <laughs> like if you're gonna invest in one thing it should be oven mitts like i think those were made out of like muslin <laughs> like anyway stop talking shit my cast on i cast on about like 26 inches because I realized that it's I'm gonna use the size 10s for the rib and then I'm gonna go up to the size 11 so it's gonna grow a little bit when I go up from the rib to the body 
So I ended up casting on a little bit less, about 26 inches, and it grew to 30 anyway. <laughs> So this is what I have so far, and I'm going to do a pretty short rib. I'm just going to keep it at that, which is maybe... Oh, look, I have a tape measure. I can, I can measure it. It's one inch. So I'm going to keep it nice and short, and I did end up doing a two by two. This yarn is kind of weird. It's like, it's really reminding me of like the 90s, like 90s vibes. It's also like, I have no idea the history of this yarn, but it's kind of like... It kind of looks like it was made from other yarn, maybe like yarn scraps. It's really not focusing. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of messy. Like, there's just something like messy about it. I'm trying to knit loose because there's like a lot of <laughs> fiber in here. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? It's making me think of insulation. It's making me think of insulation. This is gonna be my insulation vest. <laughs> Much less itchy, hopefully. <laughs> Watch it be really, really itchy. Definitely not soft. I'm gonna work on my body a little bit. I'll probably just knit for the rest of the evening because the sun's going down. And I'm just gonna switch to my size 11s and work in stockinette for a while and eventually separate the front and the back, which is super easy. You literally just stop knitting in one portion. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you when I have some more progress. Okay, it's the next day. Um, it's like noon and I I think I was working on this like all evening and then uh, I woke up at like 9 and was just like knitting all morning because I don't have anything else to do right now <laughs> so I've just been knitting and this is what I made it's just a tiny little vest I am worried that like I didn't leave enough room in the back neck for the rib like it's gonna get high on my neck which I don't, don't really want um, but I did like a low armhole with just like slip stitches around so I can leave it raw um, it's also like really curly so I will be blocking it but I'm just gonna try it on because I haven't tried it on yet I wanted it to be kind of like shrunken look like kind of small so I could just oh my gosh it's not really small <laughs> it looks kind of funny in the camera it looks like a little like tuxedo vest like a tiny little vest but it's looking a little funny right now I think it'll definitely help once I block it <laughs> but I am also going to add a rib here probably just a short rib like an inch I'm gonna add a rib around and then I'm gonna block it and then I'll probably put the buttons on after I keep like touching it because it's kind of it's much smaller than I was thinking. But this was kind of what I wanted. I wanted like a vest that I could wear as a top. Maybe it's the combination of like the yarn and the needles. I feel like if I had bigger needles, I could have used bigger needles with this, like a 13 or a 15, because the yarn was kind of chunky for the size 11s. But I'm just gonna add a rib and hope the fit improves a little, like hope it actually fits me. <laughs> I mean, it does right now. There's like a hole right here because that's where I changed. That's where I added a new ball of yarn. Okay, I'm gonna add some rib and hope it like fits me. <laughs> I don't know, like how, how did it shrink so much? Like, cause I thought I took a measurement that was like a little bit larger, but then I know I, I took some away. I don't know, maybe it's the yarn too. It's like kind of dense and like, Hello. Hello! It's been another day and I ended up finishing this. I added the rib. I did like kind of a short rows inspired thing with the rib trim here. So I wanted to do like a couple rows, like maybe four rows on the front body, but I didn't want that much on the neck because my neck got kind of short or kind of narrow. Like I didn't bind off that much for the neck. So what I did was after I like cast on a bunch of stitches for the rib trim, I like worked the rib up to the um, shoulder seam and then I did the, a wrap and turn and I went back down and then back up. I just did one row across the back of the neck and then I knit all the way down the other side, back up, wrap and turned, down again, and then I cast off everything. So I really only got two rows on the back neck and then about four on either side of the 
front. <laughs> and this is what it looks like now. It did grow a little bit since I blocked it. Since it's like already done, even though it's much smaller than I anticipated, I'm just gonna put the buttons on, weave the ends and see how it is. And if I don't like it, I'll just unravel it later. I realized that when I measured my body at the beginning of this video, I like measured my waist area and I probably should have measured around my bust and added there because really the smallest place or really it's like tight around my bust and I realized that's like the widest part of my upper area so I should have like measured my bust and then given myself ease there for like the body measurement. <laughs> So that's probably why it came out much smaller than anticipated. Now I'm going to sew on these cat buttons that I showed before. And normally I would sew them on with the same yarn as the sweater. But these are like really small and the holes are really small. I, I hope I have a darning needle that will fit through these holes, but I'm just going to try to make it work and use some sock weight yarn that I have to sew these on. So I'm going to go do that. And then I will show you what my little freehand vest looks like. I, while I was knitting this, I also realized that this yarn makes me think of like dryer lint. Like if you had a really colorful clothes in the dryer. There's just something about this yarn. It's like 90s dryer lint insulation. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like inspiring me. I have also packed up like all my other stuff. So I don't know how cute of an outfit I'm gonna get with these pictures but whatever we'll see all right I'm gonna put the buttons on now and then I will show you my finished freehand vest thing that's why the lighting is like so weird the sun is setting yar okay <laughs> this came out like way better than I thought it was gonna come out The buttons were like a little bit tricky to sew on because they're kind of small and like pokey. They have a lot of like sharp angles. So, I mean, I guess they weren't hard to sew on, but I didn't want to make buttonholes because they're kind of small. And I figured if I made an actual buttonhole, they would just like, they would just open because the hole would be like bigger than the button because the stitches are kind of big. So I didn't make a buttonhole. I just like shoved them through. <laughs> stitches but I think it's 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 fine so it's kind of like a little top let me switch yeah it's kind of more like a little top but I think that's okay it's pretty cute and like the armhole's not very deep so maybe when I get home I'll add sleeves because I still have like two and a half balls I don't know if that's enough for sleeves maybe short sleeves <laughs> just to make this like the weirdest sweater but yeah that's it that's the sweater i did write down all the instructions for this so maybe i'll write a pattern basically i just cast on stitches knit flat until the underarm started decreasing attached to the front and the back made a little rib and stitched on some buttons it definitely took me less than 24 hours total to make this i think i made like i knit the whole vest in like an evening almost and then the rib did take me a while because I had to pick up quite a few stitches I think the longest process was blocking it which is always a, you know it always takes a long time but I think it really helped because it was like really small I feel like this was kind of a pointless video but ta-da I made this vest okay yeah that's how I freehand a vest simple super simple I think most basic knitting like this is pretty simple but a vest is just fast because it, it has no sleeves, <laughs> basically. Well, hopefully that was at least moderately interesting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, okay, bye. <laughs>